one, but it looks it's like so weird that it's Wednesday nights. Yeah, Wednesday nights. Just at, in America. Just in America around this time is the only time I seem to have problems. Uh, but for whatever reason, it happens. Anyway, we look like we're back online. Let us know if we're back. Uh, should be back on. Uh, yeah, looks like we're back on. Cool. Um, anyway. So we were just um, just getting to a point where you guys were had entered into this uh, this noble room. So, um, with uh, feasting and dancing going on, what are you guys doing to get through the uh, the room? You said there was like, a, a, like we could see another room or staircase, right? Yes, staircase, uh, which is leading up from the okay. opposite side of the room. So you've got to go through the room to get to it. Uh, I would try this. Right, say that again for me, Brad. How many people? Uh, hundreds, you know, it's filled. Uh, oh, okay. Imagine like a, a big dance. But we have our disguises. I mean, I would like to try to stealth through it because I just realized I have quite high stealth, so I want to try that. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so I would, I guess, just, if, since they're drunk, just hover up. And... All right. So if you want to see the ceiling upside down. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's like a balloon. Yeah, yeah. yeah it just kind of pops of up and goes over. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah. go ahead, Spec. Uh, roll me a uh, a stealth check. It should be under your skills. Mm -hmm. uh, Near where deception was, but just lower down. Six is not great from Spec, unfortunately. Um, so, Spec, as you're trying to kind of uh, work your... Are you flighting up over them? Is that the plan? Yeah, yeah, above. Yeah. You go over them. Uh, you know, some there's a group, a kind of gaggle of uh, of ladies who kind of look up and they're like, what, what, What's that? What, what, what is that creature? Um, and they're starting to gain the attention of uh, a lot of other people in the area. They haven't raised the alarm in like the entire place, but they have seen something is floating upwards above them, which they're very confused about. Mm -hmm. And drawing attention yeah. to you. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Um, I would use my, I would use my ray. <laughs> oh, oh, oh wow! <laughs> <laughs> nice. Yeah, yeah. It's what you do. It's fair enough. It's what you do. Yeah, uh, yeah. I aim down towards the huge crowd and just fire up my base. Fire up your gun. Okay. So it's a it's a D four to see which ray it will be. Yeah. Um, there we go. Uh, boom. Let me. Uh... This is interesting. <laughs> so a one, I believe, is your confusion ray, right? Confusion. Yeah. <laughs> Nice. Uh, perfect. So basically, you extend the ray down. It actually works really well because everyone's like, "What? What? What?" what? Um, it's like, "Who? Who? Who? Who am I? Who? Who? Who are you? Uh, what are we doing?" Whoa! Um, and uh, everyone's getting very, very confused. Not just by the balloon thing, which is floating over them, but also by pretty much everything else in the room is confusing this group of people right now. I'm gonna like hold my brain and rapidly. Just walk along the crowd, accessing each person. Be like, it's magic. Look up. It's magic. Look up. It's magic. Look up. And as as I tell everyone that it's magic, trying to play on the confusion, just move forward towards like the hall where the king might be. Yeah, I leg it underneath the tables as fast as I can, and I'm shifty. All right. All right. Um, so, <laughs> so I'm just trying to like amble through. Yeah, it's trying to walk like, behind. <laughs> All the way through, perfect. Uh, so, Noblin, quick me, roll me a, a stealth check here if you'd be so kind. Uh, I would love to do that. I, I literally have a skill that you gave me called Shifty, which is advantage on stealth. There check. we go. That's what I see what you've been doing now. You help write it into the actual rules, and now that's how you uh, got it. Uh, so, at 21. I'm definitely um, the weakest race. That's <laughs> true. When it comes to sneaking, though, you're pretty good. Not when it comes to sneaking. Yeah. Um, so, on a, uh, on a 21. Uh, yeah, you just dive under a table and you're starting to work your way through along the table on your hands and knees towards the uh, the staircase. Um, I need to hands and knees it. I'm only two feet. That is true, actually. That is true. I just, um, I just skitter under it. Yeah, yeah. Um, Smoothwood, can you roll me a quick Arcana check? Seeing as you're trying to control the minds of a lot of people who are already confused in here, uh, 22 is hot, uh, and you manage to basically... You're, you've tapped into the minds of a lot of the people in the room, and you can at this point mind control them uh, and basically just like move them around uh, the room where you want them to go. And they're just like, oh, this is weird. And they start like walking over to a place, and you're like, go to another place. Uh, and then they walk over, you know, uh, and start doing that. So you can pretty easily part the crowd for Bunu and yourself to, uh, to, to walk through here. The distraction is. Uh, uh, from uh, from spec seems to be uh, drawing away attention uh, at this point as well. 
Um, Can we make them urinate on the buffet table. <laughs> <laughs> no, so one of them is, uh, in fact, all of them are urinating on the buffet table at this point, which is. <laughs> but everyone's staring. I'm looking really confused. Everyone's looking really yeah. confused. They're, they're confused why they're doing it. Everyone I'm else is confused. Yes. They're coming through. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Dog, um, yeah. Droplets and goblets of, of urine are coming through the table cracks uh, and Noblin is having to dive out the way. In fact, it's, it's, it's actually possible that Noblin is trying to get it because, yeah, you know, yeah, uh, you know, he's a goblin. You might actually really enjoy uh, having, <laughs> having maybe, urine. Maybe if, maybe if it was Boo News, uh, <laughs> not human. Not human piss. You can never watch that smell out of your clothes. Uh, no, not human. I'll give you a text save. No, I'm covered in it. You're, you are covered in human urine right now. I'm trying and to get out of it. All, start, all this urine stuff coming through. You are such a dirty goblin. Oh, you... oh, not again. Not again. <laughs> banquet. No, keep going. The golden rain is upon Noblin at this point. Um, as he, he takes his shower. I love that. That's like a shower for goblins, probably. Like human urine. That's like that's pretty good for your skin. Um, yeah. And you, <laughs> you just managed to uh, get completely bathed uh, in urine whilst you're in here. You're in a kitty. Um, so you come out stinking. You come out stinking of piss uh, to the other side, up by the staircase, where you now see that Spec has floated over the room, and Bunu and Smudo have just walked their way through. Um, and you guys are on the opposite side uh, of the um, <laughs> opposite side of the room, and you're by the staircases, and uh, you've got a, a way upwards to uh, the king himself. That went surprisingly well, considering. <laughs> it's, almost like, it's almost like we're on a time limit, and we have <clears throat> much time left. <laughs> Look <laughs> over him and chuckle with me. I'm gonna say, I'll take the dress off and the face. Yeah, oh wow. It's on. Uh, like the, the piss covered rags. The piss covered face. He's looking at him like. Ugh. I'll be naked now uh, and I'll just carry on with my book. Oh, the book's all <laughs> wet as well. Oh. <laughs> You're gonna have to like seriously dry that out to, uh, to have any chance. Uh, of of reading it again, the, the page is like sticking together at this point. It's it's bad news. You might as well throw that damn thing out. Yeah, I'll uh, I'll look up to Smidward and say, oh, where's that other one? Can I buy your book off ya? I'll swap ya." I think the blow holders took it, even though they were insulted. It did. No, I did. Saying. I love saying. Uh, it cost me a lot to recreate this thing. And I look up at them and say, and I don't even really know how. I'm not really a wizard. I nicked it. And I stole it. No way. Goblin confessions. Yeah, it's true. I'm a terrible person. Well, I mean, that doesn't really make you too terrible in my book. Anyone that can steal something like that. Well, it's useless now. I throw it away. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, Just baby games? You I'll throw it down it. the other stairs. You said there was another set of stairs? There is, yeah. Yeah, I'll throw it down then. Yeah, you hear it. Ah! Oh! <laughs> um, from, the, from down there, as you guys rush up the, um, the staircase. You're right, what? The piss covered rags of a dead little human girl who previously <laughs> boom, who killed and ate. The piss covered rags of a dead little girl, her face, and a piss covered. Dead wizard spellbook all go flying down the stairs. That's a whole lot of. Uh... <laughs> you just hear like the. <laughs> <laughs> That's a whole lot of loot for an adventurer. Um, <laughs> right now. <laughs> so you um. Will I yes. have a request? Okay. One day. One day. For no reason whatsoever in None a campaign. Just have your group, one of your groups, find those items. <laughs> Next time they're in a castle. Yes. Done. Yeah. All right, let me write it down. Okay. Um, this is part of the loot that they find, you know. You find a potion of healing, piss covered stay. <laughs> Perfect. And 400 gold. Well done. Well done. Congratulations. And then never explain it. Just simply never explain why they have the rags. They're like, what? This must be some kind of quest. I'm like, can't tell you. <laughs> Ask Brad Woto. <laughs> okay, so. Um, you guys start to head up the uh, the staircase towards the uh, the king's chamber. Uh, as you uh, head up the staircase, uh, 
Uh, you come to a large, uh, sealed oaken door. Strangely, there is no guards uh, actually on the door at this point. They seem to have been drawn away by the commotion which was caused downstairs uh, with the uh, the wild magic influx which has uh, has been occurring. Um, but you uh, you see this door. It looks like it is probably locked um, and pretty well locked as well. It looks quite sturdy. So what are you guys um, what are you guys doing to uh, uh, to get it through the door? Can I just kind of like shamble up to it and just like try and knock it over? Yeah, sure. Knock it in. <laughs> knock it in. <laughs> like, I'm tired of being in this fucking place. This guy smells like piss. <laughs> I'm gonna kick down and be out. I'm gonna kick down the door. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So roll me another athletics check. Okay. And we'll see what you can do here. Um, of course, Boonie's a pretty strong, pretty strong troll. So yeah, on an 18. Um, uh, the, the, yeah, it has to be the image where she, um, uh, she just headbutts the door and through the door is, here's Bruno! Uh, <laughs> <laughs> as you, as you smash it open with your head, uh, and you see, and you open it up into a chamber beyond, and in this chamber, uh, it's a, uh, a circular room, because you're in a tower at this point. Um, and uh, along the room there's different sets of armor and racks of weapons uh, and uh, some very nice portraits around this is you know very wealthy uh, um, room and individual who would live here uh, and um, standing um, in resplendent in full kind of uh, uh, Ufa from uh, from Walker kind of paladin armor the dude is standing here resplendent he's got this kind of golden armor he's got his awesome kind of shoulder pads going on he's got a bit of a beard rocking as well uh, and he's uh, clearly of kingly stature. Uh, this is, of course, King Leopold the Seventh before you, uh, and he's got a big old hammer on his back as well. As he looks um, back uh, at the uh, the group of you entering in and smashing through, he doesn't seem particularly surprised. He doesn't seem particularly perturbed, and uh, he says, um, "I suspected you would come here eventually." But I thought you might at least knock. I look up at the group and go, it's at this point that I would normally put him to sleep, but I actually have absolutely no use <laughs> anymore to this group. No, I don't actually have a spell book. <laughs> naked, and that's just all I am. <laughs> yeah, you don't even name that thing, yeah. You gotta have like a dagger. Yeah. I might have my top hat back on. And that's <laughs> I read into his, go into his mind. Use the knob, my son. Use the knob. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I, I attempt to knob the king. I, I, <laughs> I, 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 uh, the, uh, no, I give mean, him I, a good uh, knobbing? Oh. I give the king a good noblin knobbing. Uh, um, I give him the noblin knobbing. You know the one. <laughs> Ladies, am I uh, right? I just, I just reach up and, and pinch uh, Smidwood's ass. <laughs> assuming, because I assume that's what he wants. <laughs> so, Smidwood, Smidwood, your just... your butt has been pinched. How do you Pinching feel? Butt. Is there any connection between Smidwood and Noblin here? I put I put my hand over my mouth, <laughs> but like two tentacles wrapped from around the beard and cover my hand as well. Like a peace sign with my others. <laughs> okay. Um so the king stands before you and he says Who hear you? What are your names? I would know them before I smite you. You troll! Shouldn't you be in a dungeon? You know that's that's a pretty racist thing for you to say, there, Mister King. Or under a bridge. I. <laughs> Listen, Mister. You want to say that again? And I kind of like amble up to him. He says, "I've closer. smitten more trolls than you've ever seen in your life." Yeah, and... well, I've. I've ripped more heads off of humans than girls you've fucked. That is probably true. 
I have only ever lain with my wife. Also, I prefer guys. <laughs> so I like to turn back to Griffin, I'm like, this guy, this guy. <laughs> this guy. This is who it sins against. <laughs> he, uh, uh, he says, and what of you, floating orb? What shall I what? name you? Wait, what? What? What is the question? <laughs> what is your name? My, my name's Adam. <laughs> we, we do. We just here to get a thing. It'd be cool. Like we can go down and get. I him, know but... that you're a monster. Well, that's that's pushing it, but yeah, sure. <laughs> you're the real monster here, but I do not see how I am. Uh, one of I'm you. Of us and one of you. Same. I do not fear these odds. Smidward, for that is what I heard Noblin call you. <laughs> is this your true name? We are here for your philosophy. We want yeah, your yeah, philosophy. Yeah, yeah. You will not be gaining my philosophy today. <laughs> However, my philactory is up for grabs, I suppose. What of you, little goblin? You seem to have strayed from your path, or... You seem to be a wizard, and yet you have no book. I don't know what you're talking about. Um, uh, uh, hey, what? What's happening? What does he want? He <laughs> yes. Never mind. Anyway, you are here for the phylactery of the DJ phylactery. No. He who created the hardest mixtape of 2005, who smote. Thousands of villages with the fire, surely from his mixtape. Yeah, it was a wicked record, you know. I think he really put a lot of effort into that and one. And you yeah. think that I would be foolish enough to simply hand you back the keys to his mixtaping? Uh, I don't know, maybe. Would you reckon? Would you reckon? Let's. <laughs> this oh, year. You know, the you know. sheer fire from his last mixtape was enough to burn down half the Westerlands. I would be remiss to simply hand it back. No? I have a trade to propose. Oh, I do not readily trade with illifids, but tell me, what is your proposed trade? We have a reserve of discs. From the 2006 album, by Trollier Vest. Well, that wasn't nearly as powerful, but go on. Well, we can add additional discs if you require. Very well. Uh, and you wish to hand over these discs to me? In return for the final. Yeah, he says, well, that is a good deal, but... I can just take them from your cold, dead tentacles. I got a better idea. I got a better idea. Mm. How about, you know, we get all this jamming music. Why don't we have a dance battle and the winner gets a disc? The philatic whatever the fuck. He, lo he looks to the camera and he says, you have invoked the ancient right of the dance battle? <laughs> you got the right. This, and he looks gravely downwards. I cannot refuse. <laughs> Very well. Who is your contestant? Step up. Push, push naked Noblin forward. He's <laughs> <laughs> not gonna step Na back. Naked, his stained <laughs> Noblin. The rest. <laughs> every, everyone but you step back. <laughs> he says, uh, "The rest of you." will perform as backing dancers, as per ancient tradition. And whoever cuts the freshest shapes shall be the victor here. Very well. Now, let me just YouTube some free music. <laughs> there, there we go. Ah, yes. The legs right that I'm carrying? Yeah, yeah, I didn't even throw them away. <laughs> I have found my ancient one hour mix of free house electro music. <laughs> we will play it for the Eldritch speakers. <laughs> Eldritch speakers appear and blast forth 
some free dance music um, towards the group of you. I'll put it in the Zoom so you can listen along and, and get into the vibe as well. Because I feel like it's, it's pretty important at this point that we all get on the same page for this. Uh -huh. mm. And so the music starts playing and he says, Very well, Noblin, give us your best. Alright, so Noblin starts tapping one foot and his little, his little Noblin is moving mm. his legs you know with the, with the beat uh, yeah he becomes oh. semi-erect uh, <laughs> <laughs> and uh he starts shaking like a little bit right yeah and some of the piss is like flicking off of him oh and then i would like to perform the uh the rain covered dance that you'll find uh, andy performing at the end of step up to the street <laughs> 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 Which for the record is the best pop movie. Oh, of course. Uh, no contest. Uh, yeah, where she's in the rain and they're all standing around her and she does the whole dance. So I'm going to do that exact dance, but with the others dancing around behind me. Okay. Uh, yeah, using the piss as the rain <laughs> on my body. The piss and, as uh, the rain. Perfect. Okay, uh, can you roll me a, a quick performance check? Uh, at the, uh... The fate of the world. Yeah. Lies. I not really rely on this, but the fate of DJ Philactory does. Certainly does, and that's perhaps more important than the world. Let me bring in this, this fucking light show right here. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I mean, I, my, my performance is a plus three, so... Okay, that's not bad. Go. So, invoking to the best of his ability, Noblin will attempt to do Step Up to the Street's finale dance in the rain. You ready? Okay, here we go. I think we're ready. <laughs> Oh boy. That's a 21. That's a 21 right there. Um, so, you, um... <laughs> you perform it. Uh, it's, it's incredible. Um, as, you, uh, as you do the step up two dance, um, with the piss urine in the rain, uh, <laughs> with, uh, with the noblin out and rolling around, um, and uh, you, uh, <laughs> with the force of that dance alone, um, it seems as though King Leopold is struck in, in awe at the dance as he himself is sprinkled with the drops of urine which are coming off of your Noblin and of Noblin overall. <laughs> and it's a 21 out of 20 right now. Um, <laughs> and uh, he is just kind of struck down as this kind of, as you finish your last pose, can you give us your last pose? What is, what is Noblin's final stance here? Um, I think she does something like this, but I'll need to, I'll need to incorporate <laughs> my breasts for it. Okay. She does, she does some ridiculously over over sexualized. Nice. So I love the problem does the same thing. Right now, yeah. though, he is fully erect. Full fully 17 inches. Full 17 inches. A uh, full will song. A full will song, wow. Uh, <laughs> well, um. <laughs> So, uh, so, um... <laughs> They're like flicking like those like three hairs, he's got flick the last, the piss off him, he's bone dry. Yeah, bone dry, bone dry. oh, <laughs> ooh. Uh, and he is struck down to one, one knee, uh, as he's kind of down, both knees in fact, as he's down on the ground, and he says, um, That was beautiful. I have yeah. never seen such a goblin move that way. Yeah, or you just, I rented a DVD once and I just had nothing but that DVD for a bit. So I just learned what she did at the end, just in case I needed it one day. <laughs> and he, uh, he says, that. And you see tears running down, like a single tear goes down his face as he goes into his, uh, his like his pockets within his, uh, his armor, his armor pocket. And he brings it out and he shows you this crystal shard, this phylactery, which is it's in itself really really hot and it's also in the shape of a mixtape um <laughs> and he like take approach. it there is no no contest here i uh, know um can i approach it yeah sure i'll slowly walk over to him i'll take the uh phylactery and i'll launch it back at the uh at the party in fact wow. i'm gonna throw it at spec because he hasn't got any hands <laughs> yeah <laughs> <laughs> uh, and, and then, then i'd like to i'd like to give king a hug 
Of course, yeah. He he he, he bros into it. As you chuck the phylactery over, you see um, that as you kind of throw it over, and one of you catches it. Uh, suddenly uh, appearing uh, via teleport is himself, DJ Phylactery, the biggest hip hop <laughs> legend to date in the undead community. Uh, and uh, he appears here uh, with uh, with some fire appearing <laughs> as he shows up, and there's this lich who's kind of hovered over uh, and kind of. Uh, <sighs> And all you see is basically just uh, just bones um, through him, uh, and he's wearing um, a lot of bling, a lot of bling uh, around his his neck. He's got a lot of uh, medallions and medals around him. Uh, he carries with him his uh, all of his awards, you know, that he's gained through uh, um, through his work um, on on oh, one kind of check, of course. Uh, and he says, "Thank you." My friends, as he takes the file, actually, you are incredible. I can't thank you enough for the work which you have done here today in defeating Leopold. I, I saw the dance off, and uh, well, Noblin, that was quite impressive. Listen, I've got an opportunity coming up for you. Uh, how, uh, how would you, what would you say to? Backing dancer on my latest tour. Uh, so I removed the dagger from the yeah. king's neck. Yeah. And, <laughs> and let his body slump oh. to the ground because that's all the hug was. It was yeah. just a smile. And, and the dagger to the neck there. Of course. You can't help a little bit of light murder. Who can? And I, <laughs> I turn around <laughs> and uh, I say, I know thanks to Joe Phylactory, I hear dancing is an extremely trying job and it's easier to just take what I want, but I'd like free tickets if you don't mind to the next. I appreciate that, yes my friend. Of course, uh, to my latest tour, any tickets you want, just uh, get in touch and uh, I'll be willing to help. What about yeah, you? Uh, how long is a family? <laughs> oh, the family deal, excellent. <laughs> Uh, Smidwood, is there anything I can do for you for a, a young illifid just out of his, uh, his crib? I wish to have turntables so I can quad mix with my tentacles. He, uh, he says, I remember my first quad mix. <laughs> of course, of course, Smidwood, it will be sent to you. Post haste, uh, and Bunu! The troll, uh, beautiful as the day I first saw you, years before when I was looking through my scrying glass down at your bridge. What can I possibly do for you? Well, you know, I would, I would love to be able to design your clothing for your next tour. <laughs> He's well, uh, excellent. I, I simply cannot wait. For that, uh, that would be. Uh, it, it's called Straight Out of the Abyss, uh, and it's uh, it, it's coming soon. It's, it's very very exciting indeed. Uh, but finally, Spec, for you, what would you ask of DJ Phylactery? Uh, could you like hook me up with some arms and leg? I want to look like that guy from Monsters Inc. You know, the Greek guy. Uh, well, well, yes, I indeed no. I can. I definitely can. Yes, yes. I will. Like uh, now? Uh, like, like now, yes. And he, like, yeah, casts good. a spell upon you. You become just like um, the dude from uh, <laughs> from Monsters, <laughs> Inc. Yeah, like Mike, yeah. Mike um, Wazowski. Yeah. Um, also, thanks to Garzog the Orc for following. Welcome, my friend. To the adventure, you're a gentle orc and a scholar. Um, and he, uh, <laughs> he says, of course, anything... For you, but I, of course, must away to finish up the last edits onto my mixtape straight out of the abyss. But I'll, I'll leave you with a, a little snippet, I suppose. <laughs> just a, just a, a few little touches from my mixtape. And, and a little bit starts playing. A couple of uh, beats come into the background, of course. Um, and uh, he says, this is just uh, the old one from 2005. We... We always get up to this one, us and the band, uh, but, uh, <laughs> it, this is, this is, this 
Yo, I'm DJ Phylactery, scourge of the destiny, master of arcane epiphany. Who you feel is think you're trying to bust a cap in me? <laughs> Rolling through my dungeon, looking to plunder. Wizard, trying to steal my thunder. It's one way to pay past my traps at all. The spiked wall, the acid pit. I got so many minions, I'm swimming in cobalt shit. But my greatest weapon is wit. And you won't be more than you can chew. So draw us plus three butter knives and let me serve you. <laughs> mm. And on that... On a magical wind of fury and fire and mixtape passion, DJ Phylactery leaves, and he, with a, a gust of wind, suddenly, <laughs> boom, he is gone. No, I, a single tear rolls down my eye. Yeah. I'm gonna arson the castle because of the, the, the fire that was just through. He's yeah. like set up the whole city. I'm just, fire. I'm just like, I'm looking for torches and just like lighting different curtains. We're all just like fire, and I, and I'm like, I'm. <laughs> Mind control. Yeah. There's nothing I can do to, to stop myself. I'm just arsoning everything. Yeah, yeah. Um, so, <laughs> on that uh, on that bombshell, as you guys are, you know, in charge of uh, a bunch of uh, you know crazy new uh, powers and jobs uh, and titles. Um, and you cast fog clouds at the mood, of course. Yeah, um, <laughs> four hundred twenty nine out of ten. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and um, it's, a, it's a perfect time to, to announce again, uh, for those of you who don't actually know, that DJ Phylactory has an actual song coming out to Encounter Roleplay very soon. Uh, he is produced, we are actually producing a real DJ Phylactory rap. Uh, yeah. it, is, it is coming within like a month. I've got a professional producer to, to create the song, uh, because I know you guys, we lo you love it when we, we end up doing the DJ raps. Um, so... On that um, <laughs> on that note, uh, let's um, let's call the wrap to our, our session uh, in the Monster Mash. Seeing as you guys have succeeded in your task uh, and outdone yourselves in every way possible, uh, so a huge congratulations to the uh, the group of you for um, succeeding in this task. Um, so let's let's go around. And I want to know what you guys thought of your first uh, your first session. I'll play a bit of a uh, bit of DJ's music in the background. Uh, so. Um, so Kitty, um, what did you think of um, your first D and D session? It was a blast. <laughs> it was awesome. Good. So much like I've 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 played in yeah. the past, but it was always like very uh, just a lot of combat and stuff like that, and that right. was very boring. So yeah. playing it like this was like this is like a wet dream, man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Uh, but you do you do things on the internet. Feel free to plug your plug um, your channel and all that. I Good stream stuff. over at Awkward Kitty Inc. Um, we do a lot of role play. Um, we play a lot of arc. Anything that I can uh, do voices in and role play and be an idiot with, you know. We have a good mm -hmm. time. We're we're a little awkward, but that's all right. I that's like all right. It. We all are. We're all big nerds, really. Um, we're struggling with Dark Souls at the moment. I. Mm, ah. mm, it's just not even not even bring it up. <laughs> <laughs> the rage. Um, <laughs> thanks, Lego Ball. Um, so Pony Punch. What was your mm. What was your first experience like? I guess of D and D. I I liked it a lot, a lot. It was very different, and mm. it is like 3 a.m. in Sweden, so it's you know it's hard, but it's a lot yeah. of fun, and I liked it. It was a lot, a lot of fun. But I guess it's like just do it a couple of times and you get it. But, That's but it. Really. Time, it was very enjoyable. Good, good, good. And you too do things on the internet, on the Twitches. Yes, I do stream I uh, mostly role playing games like Ark or Dixie and Variety, and on Wednesdays I do music streams with guitar and singing. Awesome, awesome, man. We're jam, jam sometime. It'll be fun. Um, so, uh, Trainzy as well, the man who I forgot to bring on the show late. I feel so bad about it. I apologize again. <laughs> tell us what do you uh, what do you think of today's session, and uh, of course, tell us about your channel as well. Oh, that was one of the smoothest sessions I've ever been a part of. <laughs> Start to finish, improv, mm. and just how we reacted and you reacted. It just was so fun. <laughs> it was good. Yeah. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a full-time caster here on Twitch. My primary game is MechWarrior Online, and then I do three and a half hours of variety later in the evening, and I also do cooking shows on Twitch. Fuck okay, yeah. Go check out Trainzy, Pony Punch, and Kitty, and then, of course, Brand, my older brother here. Um, yeah. Tell us, uh, yeah. what, do you, what do you think of today's session, my friend? Um, uh, yeah, that was, that was really fun. Like, <laughs> you guys just took to it like ducks to water. Yeah, so I was saying. The news. Very impressed. He trains his pro. Um, he just—he was obviously 
it's like a swan yes in. like i own this lake <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah it was it was super super enjoyable i did like the full uh six hours as yes. well both sessions were really fun will um thank you <laughs> Uh, yeah, it's been a while since I played Call of Cthulhu and I really enjoyed that and this was just crazy. I did kind of learn, because that's the thing, I'm like attaching myself to learn as mm. how to be a DM, right? Um, I've learned that evil races is just awful because <laughs> they just murder her over everything. And I know it was mostly me doing it, <laughs> I know that, but it, you're... you're sort of supposed to murder hobo yeah yeah you know, exactly yeah if you're in like the human world and stuff so it was this weird thing where i was like man i guess the two things that i've done tonight are two things that i hate as dm pvp <laughs> within, <laughs> it was my first thing i did was, yeah, yeah. Hulu, <laughs> and then showed up in this one and just murder hobo so i'm the best dm ever yeah there you go <laughs> 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 no, it was, no it, was, it was it was super super fun. You guys fun. were great as well. Like it was just I don't know. It felt like we've been doing it for weeks. It did, it did actually. Yeah, you guys fit together really really well actually. And I thought as a group, because sometimes the first session or one shot can be kind of awkward and players don't like get along or like we haven't quite found the vibe. But you guys kind of fit into a groove really quickly, which was which was super nice to see, uh, and made for a, a great session as well. Um, so, uh, also, Brad, you do things on the internet as well. I want to give you your chance, my friend. I do some things on the internet, yes. Yeah, I DM <laughs> a couple of shows. Uh, I do Fractured Worlds on John Sandman's channel on Thursdays. That's got some awesome streamers in it. Um, and uh, I DM a, a lesser effort-based show where I just play with sort of closer <laughs> community people or yeah. whoever's around on a Saturday. Um, so you can follow that's on my channel on Brad Woto. Uh, and other than that, sometimes you'll find me on various YouTube channels on the internet. Yeah. Uh, yeah, you can just find all that stuff on my on my Twitch. Yeah, yeah, and um, the live Jasmine as well, don't forget. And uh, oh yeah, my live Jasmine, yeah. where I where I dress up like a naked goblin, and it's usually golden shower based. Yeah, um, I I'm there with the bucket most nights. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> perfect, perfect. So go check out these guys. Um, it's been a, a wonderful uh, nine hours of stream today. It was great fun to prep the game of Call of Cthulhu with you, then play it, uh, and then do this Monster Mash with these guys here. So I'd definitely love to get another game of Monster Mash together at some point in the future. I realize we're all very busy folks, but it was a great game. So um, more Monster we Mashes. Just, we should just oh. randomly do it. Yeah, at random intervals. Yeah, we'll just randomly do Monster Mash and just bring back these characters. Mine's yeah. useless now. He's not got a wizard bow. <laughs> I'm, <laughs> I'm sure he's completely can fix useless. That. <laughs> he's got any clothes. Well, one. Oh, you mean in their current state? Yeah, like we just yeah. carry on. That's the thing. Yeah, yeah. Like, I guess the thing with being is very generally you have a campaign, so you level your character up and mm. stuff, so you would stick with it normally. Yeah, yeah. Um, so yeah, well, maybe. Like you've been forced to play a weird spectator. <laughs> yeah. Creep. Maybe. Yeah, maybe uh, maybe we'll return to the Monster Mash at some point soon. It'd be definitely fun to get a game together. But if you guys uh, enjoyed tonight's episode, let us know in the chat, of course. Go check out uh, Orca Kitty Inc., Pony Punch, Trinity TV, and Brad Woto. Uh, and, of course, got to go around and do some huge thank yous. Of course, thank you to uh, Jonathan Crespo, uh, who pledged on the Patreon very generously, my friend, as well as to Brad Woto for donating earlier, uh, The Frog, Trorion, Scarred Panda, Fudro Punk, Fudro Punk again, uh, Fudro Punk again, uh, Velve, Pregnant Chipmunk, Pregnant Chipmunk again and again, uh, The Wolfman Rib, Flaming Killer, Sway, and Frog. You guys are incredibly generous and you help keep this show running every single week, five days a week, ten shows a week, and ten, hour, uh, ten uh, shows every week, 150 hours every single month. Man, I'm pretty tired. I've been streaming for nine hours playing D&D, just focusing on a game. It's kind of fucking difficult. My brain is mashed, but... I've been here for a lot of it, and I don't know my own name anymore. No, me neither. Where am I? I'm Brad, right? I'm Brad, and your will. Am I, am I Will? <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm Will. I'm from Essex. From where... Essex. Oh, I'm Brad. I'm from Dartford. I'm all hey. sophisticated. <laughs> Basically the same fucking Basically place. Basically the same place. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, guys, we're going to run off here. We're going to be back tomorrow, which is Thursday. Yes, it is. Thursday at 1 p.m. EST, which is 6 p.m. if you're over in the UK. And Jesus Christ, what do I do on Thursdays, guys? Uh, oh, yeah, Rain of Winter with Trainzy and Askarin 
and Kira. We're back playing uh, Lovren and Winter game then. Uh, and then followed by the viewer games where you guys can join in and hop on play every single Thursday. So if you want to get involved, you want to play a game of D&D &D with us every single Thursday, you can do. Uh, and it's great fun to get you guys in. I've got a great cast of players joining me this week and I'm always looking for new players every single week. So be sure to get involved. Of course, if you enjoyed today's stream, take a chance to hit that follow button and join us as well as to hit the follow buttons of Kitty, Pony, Punch, Strangey and Brad. Go and hit them up. But until then, guys, it's been a wonderful evening. It's been a wonderful set of streams. I uh, can't um, show you enough love for today's streams. And uh, we'll see you guys again tomorrow at 1 p.m. EST. Until then, everybody, try not to get yourself turned into a goblin covered in piss. That sucks. Uh, try, <laughs> try not to get shot when you're Brad on a one-shot uh, at the very end, because that sucked for him. And of course, until next time, try not to throw too many nat ones, because we're going to be here laughing when you do. Good night, everybody, and see you tomorrow night. Bye. Bye. Bye.